Sir Carl III is your first release of 2017. What makes Subhash Naga so powerful is to be the only character of yours to be seen in three films. Gosh! Exclamation mark exclamation mark. I had not realized this but thank you for bringing it up. Where there is continuity, there shall be desire to revert. You succeed in one vocation, you continue with it. Your creator team, it wins a series, a game, you continue with it. You build a happy association, you nurture and harvest it again. Sir Car was a success, but I doubt very much whether Sir Car Raj was prompted keeping the success factor in mind. It was done more for the continuation of the story, from where it was left off in Sir Car. So you feel the story has enough steam to see it to a third part. The character, the circumstance and the environment of the story of Sir Car has been alluring. It has begged desire to revert and to continue. It's like those bedtime stories that your mother narrated when putting you to bed to sleep. They all started with Ektar Raja Ektarani, and then invariably they would doze off and with the young were wide-eyed and anxiously questioning, fear, fear, Kyahua. Sir Kar's narration has invoked similar questioning at the end of each sequel. Sir Kar 3 therefore is a natural revert to that childlike question at the end of the previous film. The name Sir Kar evokes a sense of awe and fear. In my very limited opinion Sir Kar is not just another name. Sir Kar X or Kai, it is a condition, a reality, a state, an order. A condition, state and order, that exists in every home. Sir Kar is authority, governance, politics, not just in its much-renowned truest self, but one that reflects its meaning in everyday life, more so in a domestic application. Each individual is a human. He or she may have the benefit of power through political process, in a country, but these individuals have a domestic life as well. And this is what has intrigued me. Does individual domestic circumstance influence in any manner, decisions that are taken by such individuals for state, country and decisions, that could affect a billion people and their lives? So you see Sokar as a metaphor. There is a Sokar in every home, one that guides, takes decisions, masters and commands either servility or compassion. Who rides favor with the master, who questions, who poisons the countenance, to what end, are some of the several obligations that these heads face each moment. It goes on within the closed walls and drawn curtains and for what reason, is complex and many a time unknown to the outside world. It's a politics of a different kind, often referred to as, palace politics. Derived presumably from the era of kings and courts and emperors with their inner coteries and subsequent intrigues, today every home is a palace, and every home has its politics, the nature of which is guided and abetted by the politics it conducts, what makes your character Subhashnaga so imposing. There is a Subhashnaga in every home and that is why he becomes such a versatile, vulnerable yet respected and an acceptable character. Subhashnaga is powerful not just by the presence of his conduct, to behave in a manner that he believes is right. Mujejo he lagged a high main kartohun. But because he commands a system that has existed from time immemorial. The power of that depiction is dynamic and most attractive and loved. Negativity sells, but when you make it credible and right, it endears even more. It's tough to pull something such as this in film and story. But RGV and his conviction of the character has succeeded in doing so. Which is why it attracts continuity. Dot and my unquestioned association, having played the character twice before, how easy was it for you to recapture in a life of this politician gangster? I have reservations about the way you express the character politician gangster of Subhashnagar in this particular question. I hope I am wrong, but to me it breathes vicious negativity. Politics compels you to take a stand, a stand that attracts disagreement and debate. Not all are expected to tow your thought of vision, but those that do become your party of part of your gang. In normal terms, gangster invites crime, terror and all that is violent and against social and moral norms. But would you address all such gang partners, or what you notify as a gangster, to only be defying moral and social norms? But your character in Sir Car does break many laws. The British Raj identified freedom fighters as violent gangsters and hung them. Dark Uman Singh and Virapun were revered by the locals they served and looked after. The means may have been wrong, but to them their act was right and for their own reasons, legal constitutionality notwithstanding. Once that is understood, the act of performing is eased out by the concept devised by the director and the writer. 
My professional conviction is guided and operated by the director and in turn the writer. They have already recaptured it in their initial discussions. I merely attempt to enumerate the final discussion and design it on film. Ram Gopal Varma is a very strange filmmaker, if for no other reason than the inconsistency of his output. Having done so many films with him, how would you describe your working relationship with this director? You are so right, inconsistency is indeed strange, it is strange because consistency is downright boring and static for some. Not all, but for some. If one were to consistently wear black, how would they ever discover the presence of the beauty of an alternative color? Whether they like that range of difference is another matter, but deprived of it would be, to them, discomforting. RGV is inconsistent because he is a restless creative mind, willing and deliberating continuously, to search valuable seed through his outputs. To have made me a part of that desire is a privilege for me. It challenged me, provoked me, a condition, I am absolutely convinced, every creative artist pleads for. RGV's inconsistency may not have given him the desired results he expected, but which artist, maker, producer, director has been able to achieve consistent box office success? Has that stopped us from admiring and applauding their efforts? Every inconsistent offer that RGV included me in found me striving to live up to his vision. They have all been exercises of great learning. Positive learning. So you approve of and admire removes inconsistency. Stanley Kubrick, cited as one of the most influential directors in cinematic history has had the most diverse and inconsistent temperament in his choice of films. From the iconic and revolutionary 2001 Space Odyssey, made in the 60s, to a period film, to The Shining, Clockwork Orange, Doctor Strangelove is the genius of an inconsistent director. Inconsistency has ridden with the more recent creators too. Spielberg shifted from an extraterrestrial experience to the Holocaust. Would you call that inconsistency questionable? Yes. Inconsistency is strange. Rumu has gone on record to say he regrets doing all the films he has done with you except the Sokar franchise. Your comments please. This defeats the argument of the previous response. He is wrong. I wouldn't mind being part of his further regrets. Abhishek was with you in the first two Sokar films. Did you miss his presence in the third film? This is an obscure question. Abhishek's character dies in Sokar 2. How can he be present in Sokar 3? The Sokar films have differing circumstances and stories around them. But the family is the same. Tags, Amitabh Bachchan, features, interview, most popular, Sokar 3, Subhash Nagar.